Dellen's a great pitcher, um, one of the elite relievers in the league. So, uh, you know, there's no question that that's a blow. You know, he's important to what we do. But uh, in the meantime, we got to make sure we're working really hard to make sure we get our couple of guys that have really strong track records on track. And uh, we still have the guys capable of, of getting it done at a high level down there. And then, you know, we'll look forward to obviously when, when Dellen comes back. But we need to we need to get, you know, get our guys going in the right direction, guys that are really capable. The bullpen was supposed to be a major strength for you guys coming into the season. Why do you think guys have not performed like they're capable of? <clears throat> yeah, I mean, <clears throat> it's... You know, it, we, we've got a couple guys kind of figuring it out right now and struggling, obviously. Greeny kind of working through some mechanical things that are that are getting them in a little, little bit of trouble. Um, so we got to correct it. we gotta, we got to work hard with them to correct those things because, obviously, when he's right, he's, he's an impact reliever. Um, feel really good about where a few guys are. Uh, Jonathan Holder, I feel like, is throwing the ball really well. He's got hurt with a couple of hits, but I feel like is in a – pretty good place throwing the ball Otto, you know Brits had a couple outings but you know for the most part it's kept the ball on the ground like he does and and then we got to find a way to start getting the ball to Chappie you know with with a lead there and, and get it to him in the end so uh, we have the guys capable of doing it and they will and we just got to keep fighting through this Hap does not look like the same pitcher as he was last year what are you seeing from him right now you know it looked like tonight just you know, having a hard time. He's so good in that lane to righties where he drives the ball in, kind of up, it, the ability to elevate it. Looks like just, you know, too often maybe he's missing back where it's tailing back over the heart of the plate or kind of missing, leaking out over the plate. You know, I think he's just got to really get to where he's confident and comfortable and convicted on, on driving that ball to that lane that he's so good with. So I think it's just uh, a little bit of a... <clears throat> You know, not having that elite command that he's he's kind of known for and and, and pitched so long with, um, we just got to get him on track and and you know that lane sets up a lot of things for him. Andy, so what, when Hap's not locating with that kind of precision, yeah. you said I think you just said the word confidence. Or is it about him just having the mentality to pound the zone, or is it about little tweaks that would uh, mechanically or whatever that would? I mean, um, I, mean I think it's something that we all got to try and wrap our themselves around and trying to get him into a really good place and then the, the confidence that high confidence follows when you're starting to really pound it and and own your command I think uh, the results will follow because I think that stuff wise he's fine I think it's coming out correct um, we just got to get him where you know he's he's really confident that he can drive pitches where he needs to get them Joel Aaron with the strong possibility that heavy rain was coming and you might not get this whole game in. Did you think at all about treating the fifth inning like it was like the seventh, eighth, or ninth and using your pen in a completely different way tonight? A, a, a little bit. Um, I felt like we were, you know, in talking to um, Ted Barrett, the crew chief, he felt like it was letting up and we had, you know, considerable more time. Um, so there was con some consideration to that. Um, but I also feel like we've got to start getting some innings from our pitcher, from our starters. Uh, you know, it, it's it's just you run those guys into the ground if you constantly go into the whip in the fourth and the fifth inning, um, which which we've had to do a little more than we've liked. Obviously, to this point, we got to start getting some some in through the middle innings with some of our starting pitchers and, and Jay. You know, with a lead there. Um, uh, just wasn't able to get it done. But there was there some consideration? Yes. But um, felt like we need to get over the hump with some of these guys, too. Last one right here in the middle. Aaron Jimenez, obviously a highly touted prospect. What did you see from him today that he was able to have success? Yeah, hurt us, hurt us with uh, balls, you know, in the middle of the plate. Uh, you know, showed, showed, showed his power. A uh, couple pitches looked like they were right down the middle, and he didn't miss them into the big part of the field. And um, you know, just just mistakes that he was able to capitalize on. Okay, thank you, Aaron.